Hello, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Hope that you've had a um, that you're having a good time. And I know over here it's cloudy, and um, well, there isn't a whole lot I can do with astrophotography or or looking at the stars. And uh, but um, anyway, this is John's journals Journal of Astronomy, and today I'm gonna do a demonstration on the ASI Air Plus and I. I, how it works with the Ioptron EQ30. And uh, the same things I'm showing here today will work with several different telescope mounts. And um, this will just give the basic principles of how it, will, how it can work with uh, doing an automatic meridian flip. And um, I know it will be indoors and it's during the day, but I can still um, do some of the operational things that uh, that will that we can do in the nighttime. The only thing we can't do is do plate solving because you have to actually be under the stars to do that. But um, anyway, uh, so let's get on. The next thing we want to do is connect the or to find the zero position of the the tel the mount or set that. And so what we'll do is go to our hand controller and then go to zero position and uh, set the zero position and then test it and see if it stays at, at the zero position. And so that's done. Now we can salute to the position of interest and I'm gonna uh, select a, an object that's close to the meridian already so that we can see it work through how it does a, a, a meridian flip. And We'll go from there. Okay. Now we're going to slew to our uh, position of. I have the um, elephant trunk nebula set up to to go there because we're gonna it's gonna hit the meridian here pretty soon. Uh, okay. Now we're slewing. Okay, as you can see, we're we're pretty close to the meridian. Okay, so you can see um, we're in scar sky safari now, and I've selected the elephant trunk nebula, and um, we're um, we've gone to that position with the telescope, and so now if we go to the ASI air application and um, we're going to go to our telescope mount and we're going to look um, at the properties here so you can see that our mount is selected for the ioptron ieq30 pro and um And then there's our mount info, the our current position, and everything of the of where the telescope is. And um, oops. And then we have the um, the meridian flip settings. And then there, I like to keep this set. The default's five minutes. Uh, before and after the meridian flip and what that does is it basically stops the auto guiding and the um, and the tracking five minutes before and um, and then when it's ready when it hits the meridian then it actually does the flip and then after it does the flip it waits for another five minutes and then, then after it does that, then it does a calibration where it um, does a plate solve. And once it's done doing the plate solve, then it actually, uh, and then it the it finds that the object is in the correct position. It will start the auto guiding back up again. Now, once the auto guiding's going, then it will. Um, 
do an autofocus. And all that can be set up. Um, well, the meridian foot settings can be set there. And then, um, and then the, the auto focusing, uh, the parameters can be set up here. And um, that will, when you look down here for the run auto focus and auto run plan, then you can have it um, do an auto focus every two degrees Celsius um, if you want. Or, um, and then whenever you change the filter, you can have it do an auto focus, which I would recommend you do that um, because every filter is going to focus a little bit different and um, and and then there's here's the setting here after auto meridian flip then do an autofocus and uh, and then before each object starting so uh, there you go and so let's go to um, our auto run in. Okay, so down here in the corner, you can see on our object that we have 49 minutes and 55 seconds until the meridian flip. And then, um, so we still got a... a a ways to go until it hits that meridian flip. I thought we were closer than that, but that's the nice thing about this feature here on the ASI Air Plus is it shows you when the next or when the meridian flip is going to happen on the on that object, and so you can prepare for it. And uh, so what we'll do is we'll just pause right now and wait till it gets closer to the meridian flip so you can see um, how it behaves well one other thing I should tell you um, is on your hand controller settings uh, for the mount you also want to make sure that the meridian flip is turned off and um, if it's on then it can have a conflict between the ESI Air Plus programming and the and the mount uh, hand controller programming and so um, I know for the ioptron uh, that you want to turn the meridian flip off the settings off on the meridian flip and uh, and that will work properly and I'm assuming that that will, will probably be the case too for other mounts but that's something that you might have to play around with but it's something that you can test during the daytime to, to see if um, uh, to find out if that is the case and then you don't have to waste time uh, when you're out when you have a nice clear night because I know those are rare <laughs> and uh, so uh, when you have a nice clear night you want to make sure all your stuff's working so you don't have to mess around with the settings and that um, so We'll go for so we'll wait for the time for this meridian flip and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we only we have um one minute and 27 seconds till we hit the meridian, and um, uh, you can see that the camera has paused taking a picture. Um, oh, it's no longer um photographing. And if we go to Sky Safari, you'll be able to see that it um, has stopped tracking. And so the crosshairs are our subject that we're shooting is right there. In our, and then our crosshairs of the actual telescope mount is sitting here. So it stopped tracking about that, that time frame right there. And... Um, and it won't resume tracking again until after it's done its meridian flip and it's found its target, which we won't be able to do because we won't be able to plate solve. 
Um, so if we go back to the ASIR Plus, and um, so um, something else that you can see that it says we're going to be flipping in um, 300 seconds once we hit the meridian which is equates to five minutes and so in five minutes time it will do the um try to do the meridian flip so we'll pause it and now we'll see what it looks like once we hit that point okay we have less than 30 seconds before the it tries to do the meridian flip so you can see it counting down over here. And we have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. <clears throat> and so now it does its meridian flip. And it has to validate first. And that's the plate solving that it does. And since we don't have um, access to the stars, we aren't able to do that. And so uh, at this point, we'll just cancel that. And then it is finished. So there's one other thing I wanted to show you. Um, I actually, um, with the, um, the iOptron mount that I'm using, the IEQ30, I also have an iOptron C, C or SAM60. And there's a little bit of a difference between the two. And so I would just wanted to finish um, my demonstration on that okay so um, on the I Optron EQ30 it's actually a little different uh, than what I had initially told you um, in the settings for the Meridian flip um, Meridian flip treatment. Um, there's a set position limit and set behavior. And for the set behavior, I just um, have it stop at position limit and flip at position limit. And then um, uh, for the set position limit, I just have it set at zero degrees. And with these settings, I don't even know if it really matters. Um, uh, but if you, I know that if you have them at these, I, this is the settings I had it when it, when this has worked, and, um, and it does a, it, it communicates just fine and does the flip. But I know with the ZM60 um, that it it doesn't work that way. Um, it actually, um, it actually won't work if you have it on, or when it's on, it won't work. So you have to make sure that the that it's off, and then it does work. And and I don't know, I'm not sure how other mounts work with that, but it's just something that you would have to to play around with and. There might be other people that have those mounts that you might be able to look it up on YouTube, uh, on a YouTube video uh, with a particular person that might have your mount uh, to see what settings that they set it to um, on the ASI Air, um, uh, on one of the ASI Air group sites. So with that, um, hope that this video helps you. And I hope you have the rest of the good holidays, and um, we'll see you next time.